Two, read. This week we interview this man. His name is Salman Malik, and he is a karate champion. Wow, look at him. He seems tough. I wouldn't want to fight this man. Look at him. He seems tough. Would you want to fight him? A. Read the interview. Interview is when two people are talking. One of them is asking questions and the other is giving answers. This doesn't normally happen between friends. It normally happens for magazines or newspapers. Read it quickly and match the questions A to D. These questions Match them with the paragraphs 1 to 4. These paragraphs are the answers. Then listen and check your answers. Let's read and understand the questions first. A. What do your students think about their famous karate champion teacher? Your students. So we understand that this man, Salman Malik, is not only a karate champion, no, he is also a teacher. Why? What do your students, he is a teacher, think? What is their opinion about their famous? A lot of people know him. He is famous karate champion. He is karate winner. When he competes, he wins. He is a teacher. B. What about the future? What do you think will happen in the days to come? Next year, the year after that? C. How do you spend your free time when you are not training, when you are not teaching? What do you do? D. Salman, you are three times national karate champion. National in your own country not around the world no only in your own country you won three times what's your secret is there something that people don't know about you that makes you champion tell us what it is now we understand the questions now we will read the answers and understand them and match them well, I train very hard. I work out. I go to the gym and train. Train, the same spelling, the same pronunciation, means, you know, a large vehicle. Consists of uh, a set of carriages pulled by an engine. Looks like uh, a lot of buses connected together. I train very hard. I don't go easy on myself. I make a lot of effort when I train, every day. I also play sports, and I go to the gym four times a week. And of course, sure, I always eat healthy food, nutritious food, balanced meals, meat, vegetables, bread, this is an answer to which question? Is it about his students? We didn't read anything about students here. Is it about the future? Nothing about the future here. Is it how he spends his free time? Or is it about his secret to success? Why is he a champion? This is the reason why he is a champion. He trains very hard, he eats healthy, and he also plays sports. This is why he is a champion. This is his secret. 2. Well, I don't have much. I have very little. You see, you understand, I'm also a part-time teacher. I don't work as a teacher from the morning until late in the afternoon. I just work for a few hours. Where? At a local school. A school in the same area where I live. I have my own little dojo there too. 
I have dujo in my school. Look at the word dujo. Do you see how it's italic? It's not straight. It's different from the other words. Why? That is because this word is not English. It's Japanese. Dujo is the place where students in Japan go to learn how to fight. All different kinds of martial arts. I teach children karate on Mondays and Tuesdays. Teach is a verb. Teacher is a noun. Salman is a teacher. He teaches children karate on Mondays and Tuesdays. At the weekend, I teach adults. On Fridays and Saturdays, I teach grown-ups, people who are 21 years old or older. Anyway, when I have some free time, if I have free time, I do the usual, the normal thing. I hang out with friends, and I love reading in the evenings. I read books. Okay, he's talking about his free time, if he has any. He normally doesn't have free time. He's a very busy man. Three, people in the neighborhood, in the area where I live, recognize me. When they see me, they know who I am. They recognize me on the streets and say hello, but I can't say I'm famous. You know, I can't say that I am very famous. A lot of people know me. Probably only the people in the area, in the neighborhood. My students love me, and they all want to become like me. Champions, winners. I hope they do. This is what I wish. This is what I want to happen. Was he talking about his students here, or about the future? About his students. A. Four. Well, I really want to go to the European Championships next year. European from Europe. Europe is a continent, just like Africa and Australia and Asia. Championships. Contests. Next year. And after that, it's my dream to go to the Olympics. Olympics? An international sports event held every four years in different countries, just like the one that was held in Rio in 2016. Question B, of course. Now, let's answer these questions. 1. How often does Salman train? One time, two time, is it four times? No, he goes to the gym four times, but he trains every day. Every day. Sometimes at the gym, sometimes at home, sometimes at school maybe. Two, where does Salman teach karate? Does he teach uh, at home? At school? Where? At a local school. He has a dojo. Where is this dojo? At school. At the local school. Three. What age groups does he teach? Does he teach children? Grown-ups? Old people? He teaches children and adults. Adults? People who are 21 years old or more. I teach children on Mondays and Tuesdays. At the weekend, I teach adults. Four. Who says hello to Salman on the streets? People in the neighborhood recognize me on the streets and say hello. People in his area. 5. What do his students want to do? They want to be champions. My students want to be champions in the future. 6. When are the European Championships? When will they happen? Tomorrow? Next month? Next year. I really want to go to the European Championships next year. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.